have to say that I am extremely happy to receive this box as it is most unexpected because when I potted up my Dendrobium tortillum a long time ago because I couldn't take the, I couldn't handle the care anymore as the orchid was growing larger. There was a small exchange with Fernanda from the YouTube channel Fernanda Nacimento, Orchids and Succulents. And I said, hey, you know what? If it does well in this setup and recovers, then I'm gonna split it. And if you would like a piece, I'd send you one. Oh yes, yeah, so, yay, I've been working towards my tortilla recovering and it had recovered beautifully. So it was time to split it and send a piece to Fernanda as promised. But what was never discussed was a plant swap. So I don't know if this is a plant swap or not. I have no idea. In case it is, then I, I am prepared with my welcome cocktail of calcium magnesium at 100 this time, because I don't know what's in here and it gives me a margin to, <laughs> margin to play. Oh, okay, <laughs> with the giraffe. Fernanda, thank you so much. I'm gonna look at this card afterwards but uh, <laughs> the giraffe, that's cute. Pink and giraffe, that is really sweet. And it's a fat one, so I was told to be careful. Okay, let me see what's in the box first and see what, they, what their needs are, if it is anything that's alive. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. So let's have a look. Even the kitchen paper is cute. <laughs> oh, I love Portugal. And you saw the name on the box. It said obrigado. It's one of my favorite, favorite words, obrigado. And then look at the cute kitchen paper they have. Butterflies, dragonflies. And then what's this? Hello, summer. Yeah. So cute, so cute. Okay, let's see that the wind doesn't take it everywhere. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay, there is, there are plants in here. Yes, I see a pot. Okay, so I do have my welcome cocktail prepared. As I was saying, it was a, it's a hundred, not my usual 150, because I didn't know what was, what was coming. Um, at, 6.3 pH. And um, yeah, like I said, this was not meant to be a plant swap. I don't know which part of that Fernanda didn't quite understand, but you know. Oh, oh yum, what's this? Oh, oh it smells good, I can't quite detect the fragrance. I'll, I'll look into that. I'll let you know. But here we are. Somewhere down the line, our boxes passed each other. Fernando's only took two days. And I am... Ooh, big girl. Oh my goodness. And I am uh, a little bit concerned that mine will not take two days. It'll be longer. Which is kind of not nice. She has to wait and here I am. Oh, Fernanda, what have you done? Oh, what have you done? What have... Oh, wow. Wow, look at all these new growths coming. Oh my goodness. Um... Should I open? Oh, no, here it is. Ah, here we go. Myrmecatavola Memoria Louise Fuchs Purple. Oh, yes, you told me about this one. You did indeed. So, scatterbrain. 
so scatterbrained. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at what's coming. And for anybody that's clumsy like me, it's awesome because their nubbins are purple, so they stand out. Oh, Fernanda, she is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So let's get her in. Thank you. Oh, she's wonderful. How could you part with this? I'm sending you a cut. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Still trying to figure out. Let me just open this. Oh, no. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. You guys, with dried flowers. I bet those are from her garden. Oh, how precious. Let me just read and see. Lemon verbena. Yerba buena. Yeah, I did smell mint, but not mint mint. Got water going down there, so I don't want to ruin that. I did, I did smell a mint, but there was something else. So, lemon. <laughs> Aloysia citrodora, common name lemon verbena. Guess who's having some delicious tea tonight? That would be me. I'm just gonna put the card there, okay. Thank you for that. I will thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my tea. Obrigado, obrigado. Make sure I don't squash anything. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, who are you? You look terrestrial. Come out of your tent. Show yourself. Ta da! A little bit of drum roll. What are you? What challenges have you sent me here? Yes. Did you hear that in a comment somewhere that I would like to grow these? Fernanda? These are the Bletilla striata. And yes, they are not terrestrial. It's a water plant. I can do water plants. Oh, I'm going to have to read up about this because if this is a water plant, then it wants maybe something else other than my normal setup. Ooh. What challenges are you sending me? Oh, the pressure. <laughs> Right. I know I can make a like a pond thing. Is that what this thing wants? I like this little drawing here. It helps. <laughs> it's friends with frogs. I like that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, no, I'm going to have to read up about this. I am totally in the dark regarding this species. I know there is one like a Japanese version that I've seen on another channel. It is like a ground orchid or something and the leaves are very, very much the same. So maybe that is it and I just never recognized it as a water orchid. I hope while I was fiddling, some of that wasn't shot. I'm sorry if it wasn't. But whatever it is, it's needing water, clearly. So that's what we are going to do. Let's get in there. Yeah, this is awesome, Fernanda. Thank you so very much. Pushing the boundaries, hey? 
talk about talk about unusual I certainly have never grown something like this look at you you're dry as you should be for shipping but definitely not from here on in there we go let's put your tag back in because knowing me this is exciting Fernanda thank you so much and now with the colder temperatures coming I am going to enjoy that home grown tea that I appreciate as well thank you very very much in you go and fill her up even though it is in soil we'll give her a good drink and leave them both overnight so this is the lemon verbena homegrown in her garden dried and made for tea it doesn't get any better than that I promise you that is awesome and here we are I thought I was being able to give a cut away from my tortile and instead what comes back <laughs> oh Fernanda thank you so very very much I really, really appreciate our friendship, our communication, and it means a lot to have your trust for sending me these orchids. I really appreciate it. I, I hope that the one, I don't want to give too much away. So I just hope that what I've sent you gives you just as much joy and pleasure as what I have here, Fernanda, touched. I'm totally touched. Thank you so very, very much. I just have to add this on. Once my brain had finished going tilt from what I was seeing, I know what is lemon verbena and I only knew it in German. And it is Zitronenmelisse, a fantastic, fantastic tea. And that was the smell that I couldn't quite correlate with the language I was speaking and the fragrance I was smelling. So in German, it's Zitronenmelisse. And now I know it in English. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you so much, Fernanda. And then I just wanted to add that I, I took time to read your card because I don't know what to do and say um, on this platform. But I really appreciate that you went into the Bletia striata. It is a terrestrial orchid and will not occupy any space in your winter setup. She will love it outdoors. Thank you, Fernanda. And will bring you the flowers in spring. She's about to lose the leaves because she will be dormant. Oh, much needed advice there <laughs> because if she drops those leaves and I go, oh my God. Anyway, she's about to lose its leaves because she will be dormant during winter. And I don't know if she will bloom next year already we will just have to wait and see i hope you like it actually absolutely absolutely i do one little bit more of information on that one there the tag says water plant but that is a huge mistake of the dutch seller don't let it fool you and that is why i'm just adding this clip on to the end because i was already thinking pond <laughs> and such likes you know and there will be a video about this on fernanda's channel and that's the one I will be waiting, anticipating, and watching eagerly. So, it is lemon verbena, which is Tetonin Melissa in German, a supposed water plant. And I am not fooled, thank you to your card. And on top of that, I have been warned if she loses the leaves, it's not me. So, quick add on, thank you everybody, and Fernanda again. A massive and huge thank you to you as well. I really appreciate this. I hope that the other ones that are coming your way, will bring you joy too. Take care again, everybody. Bye.